positive energy and good vibrations from me to you. You have now tuned in to the Imperfect Fathers Podcast. Yo, 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 what it do, what it do. What up, positive what up? Good vibrations to everybody out there. This is the Imperfect Fathers Podcast, and you know what it is. Yo, fellas, say what up to the good people, man. What's going on, good people? So you already know it's your boy KB at Now and Never Entertainment underscore LLC. Um, back at you with a, another Imperfect Father episode. It's going to be a good one. Yo, these two right here? <laughs> these I just, two I just, right here? Listen, I just, I just want the good people to know. RJD, listen, we're going we gonna to take an Uber, a taxi. I don't know. We're going to have to do some kind of meetup group, carry a pigeon. I'm going to have to hitchhike my way down. But listen, after this episode, we're going to meet on, on I-75. We're going to duke it out, cuz. But listen, before we get there, happy Father's Day to all my fathers out there. Listen, we're bringing y'all another dope, imperfect father's episode. And just to further piss RJD off, I want to give a big shout out out there to all my mothers who've been doing a job of fathers. Happy Father's Day to you. I love y'all. He went there. All right, so when 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 the, when the enemy is present, right? When the enemy is present. See now, let me let me let me explain something to y'all. The the maturity factor of of the man that's on the mic right now, currently speaking, I'm I've, I've, I, it's, it's a very uh strong level of maturation being shown in this current moment. But what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna we're gonna avoid the devil right now, and we're gonna talk to our father, right? Because in, in these moments is when you really need to talk to your father the most. So right now, where you at, wherever you may be, you might know how around here. We do we, we talk to our father to pay the bills and in this moment right now i say to you guys father we thank you for another week as my man kb plays the keys right now <laughs> we, are, we are grateful right now father we are thankful for life health and strength because truly we understand without you we have none of it right now we have we actually say right now thank you for another one of our brothers joining us currently in this moment mike williams we appreciate everything that you got right now, God. And we also thank you for another year right now. Because in this moment, we say thank you, God. Because this year, this moment, this podcast makes a whole year. So right now, in this moment, God, we say thank you for grace, your mercy, and longevity, God. We ask you right now to continue to look over us as we do the will of you, God, in our own special way. Right now, I ask you to bless every father under the sound of my voice. Give him the strength, the grace, and the power that he needs to continue on another year to be the best version of himself. Mm. For not just himself, God, but for his family and his children. These are my prayers. These are our prayers. And these things we ask right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Big Mike, what up? Amen. Happy what anniversary, up? Father. What up, Mike? Happy Father's Day, son. We here. What up? What up? What up? <laughs> we here. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Like we, we about to go crazy in here in a minute, y'all. This, this energy started. is bananas, y'all. So Mike, listen. They, hey, listen, Mike. They already started, bro. They, yeah, Mike. Yeah. I'm giving you your fair warning, bro. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's about, it's about to get lit. It's about I to get lit. It. I love Yo, it. Yo, so before we before we jump all in, guys, and welcome my man Mike Williams to the platform, King. Welcome to the stage. Mm -hmm. You home here. You are home to the platform. Um, listen, check this out. We pay the bills around this place right now. While Troy uh dibble dabbers on that bald milk dud right now, it's probably getting a little hot over there. <laughs> he gonna need a towel in a minute when I finish with his behind. <laughs> but listen. Yo, check this out for all your music needs, guys. As you heard while I was praying during the music, uh, during the prayer, my man KB was on the keys. He does that and so much more when it comes down to the music game. If you need any kind of help with any kind of music projects, whether it be hip hop, R&B, gospel, reggae, uh, neo soul, you name it, that man can help you go forward with the project. Trust me, I tell you, he's a patient dude. He can definitely bring a product to life. So listen, if you have any questions, concerns about some music, holler at that man down there, KB, at Now or Never Entertainment. And if you use the word imperfect, guess what? He is generous. He will give you 50% off on any beat in the store, y'all. I truly don't know how he's eating, how he's feeding his family off of this, and how he's <laughs> continued to do this for so long. But I'm not going to question it, fellas and ladies out there, because if I do that, he might not give it to you no more. So listen, use the word imperfect. When you pull up at him, he'll give you 50% off on any beat in the beat store. And it's because he don't get 50, it's because he don't get 50% off on the dope. That's why. <laughs> oh, okay. See, so, what happened is, yeah, we got to get him out of here. We you gotta see go. you got to go and talking about dope on the platform. We got law enforcement. We got what is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Book up, Dan. I've never been in it. <laughs> oh, god, I can't yeah, listen. Li listen, man, for our other paid sponsor, the other beautiful podcast. Listen, Cassie's Classic Designs. 
for all your printing needs, guys, whether it be on your shirts, your hats, your cups, or your signs. And I as the fellas like to say, huh? I said I went back to the original shirt. Oh, that's a fact. As a matter of fact, that's the that's the anniversary shirt right there. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. so anybody need any kind of print needs, guys? As you can see, we have things and they last because that shirt was from last year, guys. So once again, another check on the on the uh, checklist of Cassie's classic design. They are durable. So listen, if you have any needs for shirts, designs, prints, uh, signs, or cups, holla at her. Cassie's classic design at Gmail. Or if you're on Instagram like everyone else, it's Cassie's underscore classic underscore design. Yo, Troy, turn up, nigga. <laughs> hold, hold on, Troy. Hold on, Troy. Hold on, Troy. Hold on. Troy. Hold on. I forgot about the um. Hold on, hold on, Troy. First of all, last year my, my shirt was medium. And <laughs> and this year I didn't even get the gold shirt. So I, I'm trying to find out where my shirt at. Okay? I'm trying to see where my shirt at, bro. You got my email, my mailing address. I don't Yo, my, my bad, Mike. I ain't gonna lie to you. We got you. We got you. What's, what size do you want on air? So if I forget, I can go back and check this recording. Unfortunately, I need a 2X right now. Send him an XL. I'll be like, finish. <laughs> right, right. I should <laughs> challenge him. Yeah, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all why, though. And I, I want to point this out, too. When I was on the pot on the um, okay. on the break on the Breakthrough Kings podcast, Mike was like, "Look at those arms over, look like sticks." <laughs> so I've been in the I've been in the laboratory. I just want you to see and understand that I've been in the laboratory. And I'm not playing, guys. I'm coming back at you. So Mike, I'm on the way. I hope Cassie, hope Cassie come hit him with a frying pan in there. <laughs> His little deuce deuce. Those, those are not even guns. Those is deuce deuces. Yo, listen. Don't, don't let the camera fool you, Troy. <laughs> and you know my work. <laughs> listen. Yo, guys, let's talk about it, y'all. As, as a matter of fact, before Troy even gets in for real on a serious note, guys, yo, happy Father's Day, man. Happy yes, Father's Day. Likewise, Kings. For real, y'all. Happy out. Father's Day, man. That's Shout out to all the kings out here holding it down. Yeah. All of my all of my black fathers. Listen, I'm going to go White fathers, Asian fathers, brown, yellow, whatever it is, you know, just shout out to all the fathers out here making a difference in the world. For sure. Yep. I say it all the time. There's no more important job and there's no more dangerous job out here than being a black father. That's a major fact. Major fact. Um, so, yo, we're going to jump into it because me and Doc, me and RJD, we was... We was getting turned now, up. Now, hold on, but hold on, but don't don't jump into that right away. Don't jump into that right away. I know the people are probably on the edge. Like, what are they talking about? Not yet, y'all. We can't fight just yet because Troy did say something that earlier in the conversation that I gotta come in. We gotta come in positive before we get into our our debacle, right? Until we get into our little spat. Because let's, let's, let's go with it. Fathers are not optional. Right. Like, yo, listen, y'all. We are not. It, like, fatherhood is not optional. Like. A willing father, you hear what I'm saying, y'all? Listen to us good. Listen to us platform good. What we're saying is a willing father. Now, we're not saying a father that's that's toxic or, or do, I don't, I don't want to use that word. We're not even talking about a father that's 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 teaching sons or not teaching sons that's not being present. We're not talking about those individuals today currently. We're, talk, we're um, talking about fathers, not sperm donors. Facts. Facts. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you, you can't have the father on the side. You, no. you, can't, you can't say, okay, take out... Take out the um the dad or the father. Nope. It's just, we are not optional. No, nope. sir. We are our main course. You understand me? So I was why and the reason why I'm saying this is because I was watching a um a video and a mom was in the room with their daughter or with her daughter and with in a therapist. Mm. And the daughter had was a town boy and the therapist was just throwing views at the daughter said oh so you like to play and climb on trees so you identify as a male and mm -hmm. that's okay but you know so you you were born a female but you really are a male and i'm and i'm looking there and i'm looking at the mom because the daughter didn't say none of that all she basically said was i like to climb trees damn and he put everything in the mouth saying that i you identify as a male you do this you do that if a father was in the room <laughs> uh, 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> go to church. Yep. If a father <laughs> was in that room, <laughs> Come on. hello, somebody. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, it, and it infuriated me, like, to the fact that you allowing this man to ide or give your daughter an identity. Mm. And, and I'm, I'm going to go biblical. Back in the days, you did what your daddy did. So we, as fathers, we give our offseed their identities. Mm. We name them. Right. We give them their surname. So what we call them is what they are. If you're saying they're, oh, you're, you're nothing, you're doing, then they're going to end up being nothing. But yeah. what we preach and when we call our daughters our princesses and when we tell our sons, you could do this, there's no nothing that you cannot do. We're preaching into their lives. We're, we're prophesying into their lives. This is what you're going to be. This is who you're going to be. And as a father, when we speak the authority that's mm -hmm. in our voice, mm -hmm. it's yes, real. Yes, sir. So we're not optional. So by no means. So for and, all the moms out there who is doing an amazing job, we love you. But fathers are not optional. Mm -mm. Sorry. Listen, it ain't no it ain't no substitution. It ain't no uh, use three percent milk instead of whole milk. It ain't no use some right. almond milk instead of whole milk. It <laughs> talk ain't no use some, it ain't, it ain't no use some, no use some applesauce instead of oil. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? It ain't no mm -hmm. use uh, white mm -hmm. onions instead of red onions. Mm -mm, nah. <laughs> Listen, there Not is no bit. changing the ingredients nope. for our father. Not even a little bit. Yo, check this There's out. No substitute now. Nope. Check this out right quick. Because when we say substitution, right, you say that there's no substitution, right? Now, let's, let's think about this for a second, right? I, to remove a, a, a pillar because that's what a father is right a father is a pillar a mother is a pillar a father a is a pillar wall, baby. yes inside of the lives and structure of that child right so let's talk about removing the pillar for a second remove a pillar from a structure what's going to happen to it if not right away but at some point what's going to happen to that structure unstable mm -hmm. it will fall unstable Unstable. That structure will fall, right? The slightest of wind will come and blow. And guess and what that happens? Structure is done for. And guess what happens, right? When that structure falls, guess who fails? Kid. Nope. The parent. Because guess why? Guess what happens? Because our our job is for us to be there, so they don't do that, right? Our job is to do the best we can, present them, so they can have the best opportunity, so they don't what fail. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, we we fail, they suffer. Mm -hmm. Now, think about this. How could you even think about removing a pillar to something? How could you even think? Like, right now, if you go to a bridge, would you think about removing one of the pillars from under that bridge? Right. Are you telling me one of those pillars under the bridge that probably has 100, you know what I'm saying, one of those long bridges, especially down here in Florida, that probably have 100 pillars? Imagine removing one. One of those pillars being removed. Would be catastrophe to millions, right? Yeah. It's the same thing will happen as you move a father out of a life, out of a home. Mm. The same exact thing happens you move a father outside of a child's life. So you create damage for everyone. Who are we talking to, though? Who who we talking I, I, I to think fathers who, all who, around? We talking to fathers, fathers who, and mothers who 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 gave up the responsibility. Them or we talking to fathers who. Yeah, pretty much gave up the responsibility because even if she even if she don't want you there, you know, that's still a conversation you have to have. And you still can be a pillar, not living physically. in the house. Well, Facts. Mike, I, dis I disagree with that. Right. Because you you might have a father who wants to be present. And listen, ladies, please don't take offense because we got a lot of fathers out there who want to be present, mm. who pay their child support, mm. who want to see their kids, mm. who want to be impactful. You got some sisters out here, some women who are blocking that blessing. Mm -hmm. Either because they're emotional, either because the man is not giving them what they want. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this to all of all women out here. If that man wants to be present and he wants to provide for children, his children, and in some cases, he's providing for his children 
and other children because mm. he recognizes I've got a child in that home mm. who is mine and there are other children in that home who are not from me from me mm. and he provides for them too let the man be a pillar but let the man mm. be a positive man mm. just because he doesn't want to be with you mm-hmm. mm. now listen now hold on uh, Troy, hold, hold on you right right what you just did you did something that we did last week. We spoke about you've probably triggered a lot of women right now. That's, that's <laughs> yes, going to hear this. Now, now I'm, I'm keeping the stack. And I'm, I'm, I'm only saying that because I had the conversation earlier and, and I know where it's going to go. The only reason I'm saying that is this, ladies. If you are triggered in this moment, you should be doing some work. There's some work to be doing, to, to be yeah. done. And I'm, 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 I'm keeping the stack. We're not, we're not talking at you. We're not trying to come at you. But if this type of conversation triggers you in a negative way, there's some work that needs to be done on your personal level. I'm just, I'm just being 100% honest. And as a brother would talk to his sister, Queen, you need some help if this conversation is triggering. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. And listen to all my fathers out there who are running around out here, you know, claiming six kids, five kids, twelve kids, twenty-two kids. Listen, if you, if you just claiming to be the sperm donor, mm. and you are not providing. Yo. Protecting, playing, teaching, Word. encouraging, Word. uplifting, building, being a pillar, being a cornerstone, being de developmental, right? Listen, kings, and I'm going to call y'all kings because I'm uplifting y'all. Put y'all shit together. Mm -hmm. Right. And stop being weird at the dude who's actually doing that. And Word. Stop, say it again, Mike. Stop. Word. Say that one more weird. time. Yep. Stop, Stop being, being aggressive weird. toward the dude who's doing it. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. yep. You no, know, and, and that's one of the most like powerful things in the world because we, for some reason, or other like the 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 one that tries to stick his chest up and be the macho macho to say he's done, he's doing the work, shows up to the one that's more timid and quiet, that's really putting in the work and all the work is like. He's not really being celebrated. So, yo, Mike, I apl I applaud you for saying that, King, because that we have to normalize we have to normalize the fact that men are really out here doing things like doing work for other men, right? There's other men that, that are not, and like, for whatever whatever reason, right? We're not here to point fingers. And to be honest, on this day, we really not we're not supposed to be talking about the men that's not doing anything. Today is today of celebration. Yeah. So we only giving you a few more seconds of <laughs> encouragement, encouragement on this level. It's but to be honest, yeah, but I'm, I'm, they only get a few more seconds. You need to wake up, for man. We need to wake the fuck up. Man. Yeah, they, and they only get a few more seconds because they, they don't really deserve it on this day. Mm -hmm. What right, I'm so saying is... Doc, can we jump into this thing, though? Yeah, yeah, because Troy's ready to fight and so am I. <laughs> so listen. <laughs> what is going on? What about, what tighten up you, and Mike? let's get it. Let's go. Um, So I'm going to tell great. you what's going on, Mike. And a shout out to my man, um, Anthony O'Neill, um, AO. That's my guy. Um, you might guys might know him. He created a room <laughs> today and is saying that I believe I could be misquoting it too. So, Ayo, hey, forgive me if I'm misquoting the room on Clubhouse, but I believe it was Can Mothers Be Fathers Too? And it was basically the premise. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> it was basically the premise of basically saying, well, you know what? The women has has picked up the role and done everything for the uh, absentee fathers. So, yes, yeah, she should be celebrated on Father's Day. And I stand here and I told Troy that I felt a certain kind of way about it and he rebuttaled it. So I use words that I'm choose not going to probably not going to use on the air <laughs> to uh, come back at him. But I probably will at the same time. He's going to be fired up enough. So let's talk about it, man. Do you believe as men? And as women checking the podcast out, do you believe that today on Father's Day you should be celebrated because you had to 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 be a single mother? That's because that's, that's that's what you are, a single mother. Talk to me, Troy. So wait, wait, Troy, wait, Troy, wait, Troy, before you take off, let me give my answer. So I can't be said, Well, I'm about to go help this baby in the bag. I'm gonna be helping you right quick. Um, my answer is no. You're, you're an outstanding mother. We celebrate you May. This is for the fathers. So um, are you doing it? Yes, you are. But I don't believe that you should be celebrated on Father's Day because we celebrated you on Mother's Day. So you you so and if and I'm not mad at you if you decide to celebrate it. I just won't ever call you 
call you and say, hey, happy Father's Day. You won't never get that call from me. But I commend you on Mother's Day because you are an outstanding mother. Yep. I digress. I think I got a point about why this even comes up, right? 15, 20 years ago, this conversation probably wouldn't even come up, right? Mm -hmm. But today, the definition of a man has changed. And what do I mean by that? If it was 1954, right, we would define based on what we can provide. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? In 2021, it is not about what we can provide anymore because women can provide for themselves, literally. Facts. Right? So that changes the definition of, you know, being a man per se, right? It's changed drastically. Society's view, right? right? So, you know, so now what is it? You know, now that they don't need me to survive per se, you know, what do they need me for? You know, so then you start opening things up like vulnerability and, you know, and all these different things. I do agree that I'm not going to celebrate a woman on Father's Day. I ain't even going to celebrate my own mama uh, who was a single mom, you know, on and off. I'm not going to celebrate her for Father's Day because she's not a father, right? I get it. I get that. Um, you know, both men and women have both masculine and feminine energy, but a man is a man. And, and you know, it, it's, it's just so deeper than that. Now, it's not just about man and woman anymore. I can go into this whole topic of just like masculine and feminine energy and things of that nature, because that's really what's changed. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, women have just be, you know, they've become more masculine and being become more providers just because they've had to. You know what I mean? So I can see why someone would say, let me celebrate, you know, a woman on, on, on Father's Day. But the reality is, ain't nobody celebrating me on Mother's Day. Right. Right. right? It, they're not going to do that. You That's know what, what I'm saying? saying. And, and the dollars I prove it. it. I kind of I kind of get it because it's just the energies is changing these days, man. I, I can see why how some women can propose to a man because the energy, as long as masculine and feminine energy exist in a, in, a, in, a, in a relationship, it can work. You know what I'm saying? And that's just today, you know what I mean? But I personally, I'm not going to celebrate a woman on Father's Day. Thank you very much, I, Kings. I, I appreciate <laughs> you too, right? I appreciate I the it. Kings, but I get it. But now... But, but in the same token, I'm not mad at her for celebrating herself on right. it. She just nah. a celebration for me. That's but, all I'm and, saying. And, and, that's, and, and I, I'm okay with that too, but what I'm saying is this, right? Yo, we, we, we celebrate as a people, as a country... Even check the dollars, y'all, on Mother's Day to Father's Day. We do everything to make our queens, which was deservingly so, feel wonderful on that day. We go out of our way. We make things happen. Men go crazy. We buy things. We spend money. We, we get events ready. We do things. My thing is, how are we having this discussion on the 24 hours that we deserve to be celebrated. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the other men out there that are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, y'all, because that's where y'all still getting this wrong. It's a difference between regular men and fathers, mm. right? And I'm only calling them men because I'm using that term loosely. But there's a difference. There's a major difference. And all I'm truly asking for and every other righteous, upstanding man is asking for is 24 hours to be celebrated. Without having to ask questions, mm. without having to explain what a father is, I do a damn good job all year long showing you what, what one looks like and what he does. I shouldn't have to explain for 24 hours what I do for 365. Mm. That's my mm. argument. Mm. That's what my beef is. Now, I'm not taking away from nobody because the same thing with the argument is, oh, black lives matter. So what other lives don't know? Nobody's saying that. Mm, that's good. That's what good. I'm saying is to you, at the end of the day, I've done right. And me, I stand for the ones that did. Those are not optional. Right. Now, listen to what I'm telling you. I stand right. Now, what I did was this. I've waited for marriage. I've done right by my wife. I gave her two children after marriage. I work hard to provide for my two children. I'm not taking from no, nobody to give to my children. I'm getting it off the muscle of being a man to bring it home so they can eat and provide for tomorrow, not just today. So damn it, why should I have to explain what I'm doing on this one day? I'm a father 365 days a year. And on the one day, I, on the one day, the one day, 
the 24 hours. I don't know how many minutes. I don't know how many seconds. I'm not that good at math and all that. But check this out. For the one day, I should not have to explain what I do for my whole entire existence now that I've had children. Troy, talk to me now, nigga. <laughs> You gotta talk to him like that. Smooth. I know because he's, he's before, he before they came tonight. Like, I don't know if y'all saw me in the background. Like I was trying to flex my muscle. While I, was, <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was trying to get on his nerves. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mike, what you don't understand is right before you got on, these boys were talking about meeting up halfway through seventy-five so they could show. Uh -uh. <laughs> Listen, we was going, we was going bare knuckle it out. Yes, you know. So, we do it. so, so, <laughs> cuz, let me just say this. I agree 100% with everything you said. Yeah. 100%. I agree with everything you said. I agree with everything what Mike said, everything KB said. I'm, I'm 100% in agreement. And listen, for me, as a father, Daddy. I don't expect to explain myself on a day like today. You know why? Because it doesn't need any explanation. Mm -hmm. But as a father, I think we also, our anatomy, right, doesn't allow us to get caught up in the, uh, the every, right? So we're not expecting flowers, right? Because that's a, uh, that's a whole different thing, right? Mother's Day. So I looked at this study the other day. And Father's Day was like number 21 on the list. It was like below, <laughs> it was below Arbor Day, right? I was, like, I was like, damn, it was it was below Arbor Day. Play than we do. But it, it was above, it was like above steak and blowjob day, right? I was, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they, they're making that part of our, our our Father's Day. I don't know if y'all seen that. It was it was like yeah. a petition going around. It was a petition yeah, well, going around. I, I don't mind sharing. <laughs> no, I mean. I didn't. I got. I got chicken in a hand job, but that's that's, not, <laughs> that's good enough, right? That's, that's that's good enough. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, but so what what I'm saying is this: I think anatomically speaking, right? Obviously, women cannot be fathers, I, and I want to make sure I'm I'm clear in what I'm saying. Anatomically, physically, women cannot be who we are. However, I would be, because I celebrate my sisters and I celebrate all my sisters out there. And listen, I celebrate my sisters out here so much that there are women who I know who I've sent Happy Father's Day to because of the role that I know that they play in their children's lives because fathers have been absent, not through their doing but through the father's doing. So I know the role that they have played over the years in the developmental process and the growth process of their children and, and to help making them successful. And I'm, I'm talking about women who have daughters and sons mm -hmm. who have said, listen, I'm not a man. I can't teach you what I can't teach you what it's like to be a man from my experiences of being a man. What I'm trying to teach you is how not to be this man your father was. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to teach you or looking to teach you is a level of responsibility to go out into our community and be better than the person that donated sperm. Absolutely. Right. So it is, is there a, and, and it's a, for me, hold, it's on, a, okay, hold on, doc. Wait, let me just finish for me. Let me be clear. It's a, it's a joking celebration when I say it, right. I, I'm not sending father's day cards. I'm not going out here and buying you a six pack of beer. I'm not doing that. It's kind of, it's really more of a joking celebration, but I can't take away from what those women did. Listen, if my grandmother was here today, I might call her up on the phone and say, hey, thank you for teaching me all that you could teach me to be a good man. Mm -hmm. But you're not calling your grandmother 
and saying happy Father's Day to your grandma. No, because my grandmother would curse me the fuck out if I did. My my <laughs> point is, now now check this out, Troy. Now, now everything you now hold on, but everything you just said, Troy, like I like you said to me, I'm with 100 yeah. percent What I'm telling you is they did that from a woman's perspective. They I didn't try. they didn't they didn't they didn't take that, they didn't take that and become the man. There's a void still there, even though they did a hell of a job. Every woman, I'm the product of it. I'm the product of a woman who has stood her ground. You know, first and foremost, I'm going to put this out there. My mother's probably one of the most masculine women on the planet. You hear know what I'm telling you? My mother is literally probably one of the most masculine women I've ever met in my entire life. But my mother did not show me how to be a man. She didn't teach me. She didn't teach me how to be a man. She didn't teach me what a man looked like. She taught me from the best of her ability as a woman to, to be the best man that I could possibly be from her perspective of being a woman now aspects of life how to hold my penis at a urinal all those things anything that be about a man i learned on my own and a lot of us men do and what i'm saying is i'm not taking like i said before earlier in the, in the statement i'm not taking away nothing from a mother but i'm not also giving you nothing on this 24 hours mama i'm not taking nothing from you but i'm not giving you nothing on this day neither you sure enough going to get an extra celebration on Mother's Day because you damn sure deserve it. But see, I, I disagree. Not Listen, I'm not, I'm not giving you anything, right? I'm not, again, I'm not going out and, and buying you cards or whatever. But from the work I know that a woman puts in. On today, Troy? On today. Not, you you going to do it today? Yeah, I'll do it today. You know why? Because first of all, can't none of y'all fuck me up. Let me be clear. I can fight. Yo, Troy, That's hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Like, first of all, you know me. First, I'm down for. I'm down to try, even if I can't. You know me. I'm down to try, nigga. Like, so what you saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> I just wanted to get. I wanted to get Doc's feathers up in a rough. Yeah, no, no, my hair. I just finished doing my hair, so I want to get messed good. up. <laughs> you gonna throw a punch and it's gonna get clean. It's gonna. It's, it's, yeah, I know it's gonna slide off. No, <laughs> better believe it. Like I but said listen, earlier, man, that this topic only comes up just because how involved women are these days. Yeah. You know what I mean? How much they do. You but know what I mean? Yeah, Mike, you know what? On, on that point, and I'm, and I'm, I'm going to say this on this day, too. Mm -hmm. Yo, they only had to become as strong as they became because some weak ass nigga wasn't standing up. Yeah. A woman only had to be as strong as they've been <clears throat> over the last 20 some odd, 30, 40 some odd years is because these lame ass niggas was, for whatever reason, was not in the house. We can't, and we I like, can't call them lame, bro. Well, Here's well, because you, oh, you know what, you know what, KB, because it's two, like you said it's two types of niggas, and I, we ain't gonna talk about the, the other ones. You're right, but <laughs> for the upstanding ones that was there for reason that they couldn't be, I apologize. But the ones that was not there, listen, you know where you could stay. But, but, but bro, bro, no, I, but I, I, it, I probably, it's, it's systematic, bro. She, yeah, we was going in the same direction. It's you know I mean? Some so, some cats just do what they know. Like if you never really had the experience of your own pops, you know, being there. Um, you know, what you gonna do? You're gonna do what you've seen, you're gonna do what you think, right? Period. You know what I'm saying? At some point, you myself, we ran into someone, individuals right. that put us on the right track. Facts. That's a fact. Right? Major fact. That put us on the right track and was like, yo, listen, this is what we this is what we gotta be focusing on right here. This is why family is important. This is why the work we do is important. This is why personal development is important. This is why, you know, the network that you keep, you know, the company that you keep is important. Like those, these are the lessons someone eventually taught us. Right. You know I mean? And that if nobody is teaching you that, the word he just used, systematic, is important. Uh, because most people, they just that, that that's what it is, where they it's come stuck. from. They <laughs> stuck. It a lot of a lot of the time what, what took place was our justice system decided that they wanted black men out and this go back to since slavery um that whole witty lynch letter thing um whether it be false or real or whatever it it in fear it put fear into the mom's heart to see that the dad was ripped apart this way and now the mom is teaching the the sons and the daughters to respect a certain a certain kind of respect but the man was taken and ripped out of the home ever since then and you know sold into a different home and and it's been going on ever since then and now that we have this whole justice system where if a white man or a black man commits the same exact crime he's doing 80 percent more time than the white man is and i'm not saying this oh blame the white man i'm not saying that look at the numbers 
we have been ripped away from our homes. So we can't call these dudes lames because you know what? Some of them was trying to go out here and, you know, because if, if it comes to me having to put on a ski mask and put my 45, my m &P on my hip to go and get it because she ain't got it. I'm putting on my ski mask, bro. Yeah. But see, but the only yeah. reason I said any of that, I look, don't, that's not what I'm saying. Cause I'm not, I'm, I'm talking that shit. I'm yeah. not going to go put on a ski mask, but I, you know what I'm saying? I can understand if that person, cause I'm educated. Right. That person was not, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I could go out of here and get it. I, I got, I'm licensed in 14 different States for insurance. I could go out here and I'm valuable. I got that. Some of these dudes don't. Right. That was right. their only options. And when they mess around and got caught, it was ripped from that home, never to be seen again. Now, listen, you guys took, hold on, but you guys took what I was saying and y'all ran with it, but which is all good. But the only reason I said that, the only reason the woman was was uh, 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 made strong right now because a man was weak at some point and because yeah. of the truth. We were snatched yeah. away, whatever had that truth. And the woman, yes, she had to be, she had to, she had to stand up. And all her standing up is what I'm saying is, and then the topic of this whole, this, this whole premise of this whole thing is, as much standing up as she did, she still didn't become a man. That's a right. Man. I agree with that. That's not. And listen, I'm not talking about the systematic stripping of fathers from the home, right? That that that's something completely different. That and that's a whole nother topic. Oh yeah, right? we go there next week. We might be right back on. Oh, got a new I'm, new I'm one next week. <laughs> I'm I'm talking about fathers who choose to be non not present right, right? It's, so it's, I'm, it's I'm it, it is it, fact it, it, it doesn't a major change choice. the fact it still doesn't change the fact that that mother whether that father either systematically was removed from the home or whether he removed himself from the home it doesn't change the job that that woman had to do in the home whether mm -hmm. it was for her son or her daughter or her sons and her daughters. Right. It mm -hmm. doesn't change the role, the identifiable role that she had to be. So the reason you don't, you're not out here seeing men, single fathers being celebrated on Mother's Day is because it's quote unquote not masculine. Right. right. But, so, it, but they were raised hell, though, Troy. Right. Hell be risen. No, I'm, I'm, just just saying, no I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Troy. I'm just saying that the women would raise hell if, if we was to celebrate a man on Mother's Day. Let's keep it a stack right now, y'all. Women, if we was to celebrate a man on y'all day, we would see posts, we would see billboards, we would see news alerts and all kinds of shit. I'm just saying. Probably. But the reason being is because women aren't systematically removed <laughs> from the home. <laughs> <laughs> right. Women aren't choosing to be non-present from the home. So it's a little bit different. Right. It, it's what is that saying? Uh, something, something a woman's work is never done. Right. I, I forget everything before it. But. Listen, I celebrate all of the women out here. I celebrate my kings. Who, again, are present who have overcome the obstacles of, of, of systematic racism. The government has tried to remove them from their homes and they say, nah, I'm not getting ready to let that happen. I'm gonna still figure out a way to provide and do and whatever it is and hold it down. And shout out to those sisters who have held it down, right? But again, we recognize it's different from so many different levels, whether it's culturally, whether it's anatomical. The reality is, Yes, women would probably go out here and pick it in protest if we started looking to celebrate single fathers on Mother's Day, right? And I, I and listen, here's the reality. That probably a lot of fathers, the majority of us probably be like, I don't want that, mm -hmm. right? I don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how we... Yo, you know, but listen. here's the wild part, though, right? As a father, it wouldn't even matter if we had Father's Day, bro. It wouldn't. That's it wouldn't matter to us. <laughs> right. we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't look for this. This isn't really? part of, you know, having masculine energy. Like, we, we don't care about the celebrations. We, we really focus on what makes us feel good is us knowing that I have done my job. My family is good. Right. We eating. And, and that meal. That's you're it. Right. 
And now I can sit, <laughs> have a cigar, drink something in the comfort of my home. Yes, right? the castle that and, you and, built. And I'm cool with that. I don't need no card. I don't need to thank you. You know what I mean? I Sometimes as men, we got to force ourselves to be like, thank you, thank you. you know? Right. Receive. Right. Yeah, receive. I'm a receiver. I'm a receiver. Right? I'm a receiver. Because, you know, it's not. It's just not something we do. You know what I mean? But um, you know something else I want to do? I want to tear down this narrative that the black man is not in the home because I don't know a deadbeat father. Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, man, uh, mm. man. Well, I, I know, know one. I, 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 know, I, know, I know a couple. I know a couple. <laughs> well, not, when I say I one, I'm like, damn, there go another one. No, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I know a few. I, damn it, all right. <laughs> but but now, within, but, within your circle, how many deadbeats you have? Oh, in my right. circle. Oh, no, you know yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. My associate circle right now. Yeah, right. I don't have any. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, have any active circle. You're right about that. Facts. I know some, but yeah, people that I call. Or yeah, would, yeah. Like, would text on a consistent basis? Nah. Yeah, no, no, no. All of the ones that I know, outstanding. Yeah. Facts. And they, they live for up. it. Like it's their thing. Everything right. they do um, is, is listen, to be a good pop. You and know not I mean? only will they, when when they're doing for theirs, they're also doing for others. Yeah. Like those are the men I know. And, and yeah. you know, I don't know them. Who, who are these guys? <laughs> right. and listen, I'm a, I want to give a shout out to my pops because you know if if by chance he should get some internet or Facebook because you know now now these cats that's in the in the bang they in the poke I'm recording the videos and everything. Nigga, did you so see this cow, on the feed? Listen, these these cats in jail be doing TikTok videos and everything. I seen a video the other day. These dudes was in a cell. They was all dancing together doing a little TikTok video. I said, shit, I want to go to jail. I just did it. In the cell. Yeah, me yeah, and my doing a whole my, TikTok video. I don't know. Doing a whole TikTok video. This, this but, is actually this is the first Father's Day without my 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 pops. You know, we uh, lost back in March. That's fact. Um, so you know, I, I I so I gravitated to it my my father in law early this morning. I called him up and um you know just to say happy Father's Day. Man, my brother was tearing up on the other end. Like, what did I call you at the wrong time? <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, you know, just getting that love and energy. Yeah. He knew he was about to get calls all day, too. So I try to beat everybody else, but you know, RIP to my father up above, you know, yes, my sir. Pop, that pops, you know. What I mean, he came Facts. in and filled the void, right? You know, took Facts. up the responsibility. Uh, for someone else, and he always had my back all the way to the goddamn end. So salute to him. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Shout mm -hmm. out to the homie, man. Yeah, R.I.P. You know what I mean? For sure. Yes, That's indeed. Good. And yo, you listen, man. And we taking this moment. Yo, shout out to my step pops, man. Yeah, we don't. Um, and my grandmother right now, she is probably in her grave right now, happy as I don't know what to hear this. <laughs> and um, the truth of the matter is, now that I'm a father, right? Now that I'm in the position that I am in. I wear fatherhood with a certain badge of pride, as Mike said. Like, mm -hmm. I live for my children, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we we talk about what we what, what, what would die for, but I'm telling you what I live for. I live for my children, and I understand what it means now to be a father. So, in, in between me and my stepfather, all I all of our agreed disagreements, right? He was still a provider. He still made sure that seeing that I was okay to to even make sure I have a roof over my head, food for me to eat. Right. So in all of our disagreements, George, and all of our things that we do not agree on mm -hmm. in this moment, I say happy Father's Day to you. And I do love you and I appreciate you because at the end of the day, you didn't have to do it. Right. You didn't have to. And I also understand that the thing that you that you struggle with, you struggle because you didn't have. Yep. Right. So I can no longer hold you hostage or hold you accountable for things that you never know how learned in the first place. But what I can tell you is that the, everything you did, you, you did teach me. Is gonna prove through my children, and I can promise that. I promise to be the best version of myself for my children. And with that being said, thank you for all the lessons, good, bad, or indifferent. Thank you, and happy Father's Day to you, King. Yo, real quick, let me just run down the line because listen, <laughs> I, I definitely got to give a shout out to my pops and wish him a happy Father's Day. He's probably not gonna see it for like another seventeen years because he's in the Bing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But he wasn't not present no. on purpose. It was just listen. It was just circumstance. David, shout out, my nigga. Have you, no, have you just, just, listen, Hamza Abdul Rashid. You know David Thomas Rose. I'm just gonna mad keep it. pork. Yeah, mad pork. <laughs> <laughs> Hot salami and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> 
Listen, I got to give a shout out. We love y'all, man. We sorry. We just just playing. Yeah. My Uncle Thomas, man. And listen, just some of the old cats from my old neighborhood, man. Mr. Mr. Donald McMillan, uh, Linnell Brinson, uh, Earl Skate Sr. Man, there's there's just so... uh, Terry DeFreitas, right? There's just so many cats I can go down the line who are really just influential father figures uh, to me. Yo, shout out to my uncle, Tanny Augusta Freeman, who taught me how to tie my tie mm. uh, in North Carolina, right? It, it's there, There's so many cats I can just go down the line and, and give them recognition um, for, for just being fantastic fathers and, right. and taking me under their wing. Um, and then I, you know, listen, Doc, and I know, again, I know you and Mike Cave, you don't agree, but I'm, I'm going to run down a list of some women, right? My grandmother. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm ruthless. Do it. I'm ruthless. Do it. And like I told y'all, listen, <laughs> on Mother's Day, I'm willing to give it to you. And he can say whatever he wants to say. He's probably going to be mad as hell. I don't care. Because guess what? I'm not get, on Father's Day. On Mother's Day, we not getting no celebration. Yo, you getting cussed out. Oh, we not getting man. no love. We not get getting none of this. Right. We we are told to shut up and hold the door and bring in and carry the gifts, nigga. That's it. I'm not telling a woman to shut up and hold the gifts, but I'm also not giving you no celebration on these 24 hours and not on my platform neither. Yo, I, I saw <laughs> I saw a meme that said uh, Mother's Day jewelry. Uh, on sale for three thousand dollars. <laughs> Father's, <laughs> Father's Day sale cargo shorts for ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and Doc, I just, you mad petty with that button, folks. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm swift. This might have been the pettiest one. I'm not. Gonna listen, lie. You, 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 you hey. straight. Listen, you were straight petty Labelle with that button right now, bro. <laughs> hey, you was a petty. You was petty wop with the button. <laughs> <laughs> you said petty wop. Hey, let me give a couple of shout outs too, man. Um, sure. I want to give a shout out. Put it in the comments, dad. Troy. So, so my stepdad Whoa. came to our lives when I was like in middle school. And um I ain't know what a I ain't know we ain't never had a man in the house. So I never knew that. And the type of energy he came in with, he came in with that. That real humble energy, like that energy that I'm here, I'm here to help, bro. Mm. Whatever it is. And mind you, in middle school, you a knucklehead. So, you know, you used to one way and one way only. And he came mm-hmm. in and he showed, not only did he say it, but he showed it mm-hmm. that he's here to, to help. So, man, big shout out to my stepdad, who I introduced as my dad. Shout out to my dad, who I let her, uh, who I met later on. Um and who showed me that, you know, he he never stopped thinking of us. It's just the circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to Mr. Brown, who in middle school was always there with us, taking us out, um, showing us movies, taking us to church, taking us to his place, going like he showed us here. My, actually, he was my sixth grade coach, Coach Brown, um, actually eighth grade coach. Um, shout out to Mr. Blatch, who was my seventh grade teacher, to all these guys who I still speak to till this day. You know what I'm saying? Like they came in and they showed love. Like these are father figures. Um, shout out to my brother who was like two years older than me, who made sure when I was coming up and I was playing ball that I didn't have to worry about going to get a job to have to go to homecoming. Mm. He worked his behind off to make sure that I was good to go to homecoming. You know, stuff, little stuff like that. My big brother, shout out to Izzy. Um, shout out to brother Paul, shout out to um brother Frank, like all these dudes who made sure that we, we not only that we was good to go to school, but we was good inside the home too. We we'll stop by with a bag of groceries and make sure that we ain't had to go and ask the neighbor for nothing. You feel me? That's what's up. So, Yo, okay, man. I got a quick question. If, if if one of your coaches or something like that suddenly changed their gender, would you still give him a shout out? Hell yeah. Oh shit. Cause they ain't not. Ain't Yo. Not. <laughs> Yo. He's trying to get thrown. He's trying to get thrown. He's trying he to get thrown. Car. Yeah, he's trying wow. to get thrown again. Listen. I'm not even listening to him. <laughs> so give him that shout out. Wow. Here's the thing. They presented to me one way when I was a jit, and they never crossed that line. Yo, 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 KB, don't even, don't even, why are you dignifying him with an answer right wow. now? You're making me mad you dignifying him. Yo, check this out, man. 
for real. And I, in this moment, I would also want to say that I'd be remiss to say this without saying this. Um, and KB, you pointed out, shout out to my real pops, man. Shout out to Bill Flood. Um, for whatever reasons, you know what I mean? For whatever reasons, family, we didn't get a chance to, to make it right. Um, I don't know where you are right now currently in life, but I hope that you're well. Hope that you're in good spirits and know that there's no there's no uh hatred towards you, there's no uh mal uh intention between me and you. I got love for you because you created me who I am. Situations are situations, circumstances, circumstances. I'm a man. I appreciate what you did in the space that you did it. You can't take it back. But I, also in this moment, I want to say thank you to Bishop Joseph Nathaniel Williams. Um, and rest in peace to you too, King. Um, I, I would say out of everybody and every man that, that has crossed paths in my life and helped me in any way, you've had the most impact. Um, you were there when others were there as a shadow. You stepped in and, and was the man. Like when I saw shadows of men, I saw your face. Where I seen, I didn't see habits or I didn't see structures of what a man would do. I seen the habits inside of you. I watched you closely, sir. And to your son, Joe Williams. Yo, Joe, your dad, bro, was my dad. I love you, bro. Happy Father's Day to you too, King. Because at the end of the day, you let your father be fathers to many, many people across this great nation. So with that being said, bro, thank you. I salute you. And every other father out there, man, we, we have fun on this episode. And I want everybody to know that this podcast is literally a year old. Right, we had a relaunch, and this is the 15th episode, and what have you, 16th episode, whatever number this this is. But we we started this last year on Father's Day, based upon the same premise that we're not necessary or we don't need we're not needed as fathers. So if you go back and check the track record, we've been doing this now for a year. If you want to see where this actually originated from, go back and check on um, Imperfect Fathers on YouTube and just look it up, and you'll find where this originated from because. It was, I think, 16 fathers before on this platform that one evening for Father's Day last year. And it was a phenomenal, phenomenal event. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been rocking with us for the last past year, y'all. Y'all don't understand that you are the reason why we continue to do this. See, what happens is in the back office, guys, the gentleman on the screen really don't get a chance to see or read the comments that we get in the back office because basically I'm controlling the majority of it. And we don't get really the chance to really speak because, you know, busy lives and all that. But we're changing lives, Kings. And I want to say to everybody who writes to us comments, uh, whether it be on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or even on Apple or, or wherever you uh, do your comments at for our podcast, I appreciate you. We appreciate you. And we see them. And that's what keeps us going, guys. We know that we're not just talking for our, our sake, right? We know that we're laying down some tracks that hopefully there's some men that will drive across these and realize the path that we're laying for them to go forward in a positive direction. And also understand that being a father is the best hood that you could ever possibly be a part of. Yeah. So with that being said, fathers, yo, every last one of you kings, man, I love you all. And we appreciate you all. Happy Father's Day to you all. And fellas, give your last words, man. We down to the last minute. I just wanted to get that out there before we get out of here. Uh, let me just go ahead and say, man, shout out to all the fathers on this platform, man. I love y'all with, like, throughout this last year, I'm just meeting um, Troy and Mike but you feel me like i feel like i know y'all you know what i'm saying like i could feel like i could pull up to any one of y'all houses and just chill for the day and i'll be good and to to doc i've been knowing doc for quite a bit he we just meshed so shout out to y'all kings shout out to all the kings out there who's doing the damn thing um shout out to uh encouragement to those who are not get it right you know what i'm saying like we're not all perfect when my first son like we, we're almost we're strange now but i could make a difference you know what i'm saying so be encouraged you know what i'm saying like do what you have to do be who you need to be build you know what i'm saying like start today you know what i'm saying going back to where i started the start now podcast like start now start you now. feel me and um as fathers we need and here's my encouragement. We need to be around. So get your ass up and go to the gym. 
Word. Get your ass up. Do a lap around the house. Get your, get your, put your goddamn arms down, nigga. This thing is the get same size it was. Get a watch. Get your walk on. Your ass down. But, um, the washboard's coming back. I'm just saying. And um, watch what you eat, because at the end of the day, you could do all that getting up, and what you do, what you're doing in the kitchen is messing all that up. So let's let's be around for a hundred years, because you know, as men, we go before women go. Let's let's change that narrative. Yep. Facts. Yep. Ooh. Imperfect Father, shout out for holding down Sunday nights on the Breakthrough Kings platform. Man, shout out to you. Like content just being created, and I ain't doing it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Major fact. Let's definitely get some stats on the back end that everybody don't see. So we appreciate your consistency on the platform. It really does uh, make a huge difference. There are some brothers that love the show. Um, you know, they don't chime in, but they watching. So appreciate that for sure um man like yo i you know when now that you're saying a year now i remember what you're saying happy anniversary we definitely did blast this off last year That's we a had a whole panel of brothers up here we did. and we had the shirts and everything and just coming through we had dope conversation i think we went for an extended period of time too we so. <laughs> two hours <laughs> yeah. two and a half hours i had to edit that oh my god it was a good conversation though. It man. was good yeah. conversation and much fire. needed, you know what I mean? And I think that um that's why you know this platform is so important for breakthrough kings because you know it's an element that we don't talk about on a day-to-day -day basis. So for you guys to come through and talk about fatherhood, men, it's just dope. Um, and guys, man, they're like, you know, we got we got a tough job, you know what I mean? We got you know, being men, uh, we want you know, you want to chase after goals, right? We want we want the success. And then we throw fatherhood on top of that. We throw being a husband on top of that. And it ain't easy. So, you know, we're trying to keep up with all the personalities in the house, right? We're trying to, you know, you're trying to make everybody not just be happy, but you're trying to make everything right. You know what I'm saying? And it's not something that we we articulate often and talk about often. But when we can come to platforms like this and do it, it really does do a lot for you know, the, the, the man's mental game. Um, so yo, just stay plugged in. That's what I say. Stay plugged into the content, stay plugged in network, connect with these guys, connect with the breakthrough Kings platform uh, and just stay connected around well-rounded people. You know, if you don't have them around you physically, you know, the internet is huge and it's here for you to be able to get the, get the tools that you need to navigate through the trauma, right? To navigate through uh, fatherhood, to navigate through being a better husband, right? The tools are here. Now let's use them and implement them because the, 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 the brothers on my wall, right? They didn't have nearly as many tools as we had and they were, be, they were able to build what they built, you know, with not nearly as many tools and resources as we have today. So right. we got everything we need to be dope people and most importantly, be dope men. So just stay plugged in. Appreciate you, King. Listen, my message to all my black kings out there, my fathers, <clears throat> stay away from brown looking at white women. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here, bro. I can't even believe, believe this shit. I love it. <laughs> I didn't even believe it. <laughs> Yo, I should, you know what? As a matter of fact, fuck it. I, I had to get him out of here. I, I was, I was gonna let him live because we only got a few seconds left for the show, and I was, like, I'm gonna let him live. Nah, he got to get the hell out of here. What, what's wrong white. with him, y'all? What's wrong with him? Stay away from white liquor, white bread. Um, <laughs> white bread. All right, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Yo, all my sponsors out there, work, please don't don't listen to Troy. <laughs> Well, hopefully none of your sponsors brown liquor or white women. So I think you might be safe. So it's okay. Well, listen, I want to give a special shout out. Listen, because uh, I think I might be, and you know, uh, Mike might have me by my by a couple of years, but I think I might be the only one on the show that's got grandkids. Mike, you got grandkids, bro? Do I really look this old? Like what the fuck? <laughs> no, I ain't got no, no I got grandkids though. Bro, no, I ain't got no grandkids. You know what I mean? You said I've been having by a few years. Do I look like I don't know? <laughs> you know, you know, like get it, Mike. Mike ready to fight now. <laughs> you know, I just put a post up the other day. Like, I'm in the barbershop with my kids. They call me Mr. Williams. I'm like, Mr. Williams? What the fuck? Mike, how old are you again? I'm only 38, man. Oh, man. I thought you. It's your maturity. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's your maturity. I guess that's a good thing. 
Yes, he matured. Yeah, so, yeah. Back to Jim. This is crazy. So I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> the only one to figure look back in the mirror. So listen, I want to give a shout out to my son, uh, who, who is a father. Yeah, right? shout out, shout out to the king. Yeah, listen, shout out, shout out, shout out to the junior Troy Rufus Triple Jr. Uh, and he's going through it as a father. Right. And listen, I just, I just want to, I, I ain't gonna put it all the way out there, but he's going through it as a father. He's been through some things. He's made some mistakes. But listen, all my fathers out there, I love y'all. I respect y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for the wonderful job, for the work that you do to put uh, into your families, into your communities, into making sure that your daughters and your sons uh, are, are positive role models, right, within the community. Um, that's it, man. Like, I, I already ran down the list of folks. So I just want to say, listen, keep being, keep being positive. Keep making a difference uh, in your households. Keep pushing. Don't let the nothing hold you back. And remember, I said it before and I'll say it again. There is no more important job in this world than being a black father. Mm. There is no more dangerous job in this world than being a black father. Remember that. Yo, listen, man. This has been a phenomenal year. Phenomenal episode. And I just love this energy, man, because this is this is what I'm called to do, y'all. I'm walking in my calling. I'm walking in my purpose. This is the best feeling on the face of earth. Being able to walk in your in your truth, walk in your calling, and do what God has called you to do from the time you was put on this earth. So what I'm going to say to you, kings, is this. Happy Father's Day. And the word of encouragement is, if you don't know what your purpose is, it's okay not to know it. But it's not okay no longer to know it. If you don't know at this point moment, go find out what it is. It's time to sit down. Lives depend on you, kings. Lives depend on you, kings. Lives depend on you, kings. Your children are your legacy. Make sure you understand that. Leave something on this earth worth leaving. Impart the things inside of your children that you wish you had inside of you. And if you don't have them inside of you, go find them. Guys, listen. If you don't know where we're from, what we've done, we've been doing it for a year. I'm proud of us, Kings. I'm proud of you guys. I love you guys. Now, you know the energy. Fellas, to the world, you're just a dad. That's all you are. But to your family, you are the world. And don't you never forget that. Wear fatherhood with pride. And you guys know the energy and you know the rest of it. So here it goes. Be good to yourself and the ones around you. And if you can't be good to the ones around you, it's okay. Just get those folk from around you. Yo, this is RJD, the Imperfect Gentleman. This has been the Imperfect Fathers Podcast. Y'all be blessed. Peace. Peace. Boom.